Test Cut Technology is Private Limited. My name is Shivam Vijay and today in this video I am going to give a demonstration about combined earth fold and overcurrent relay trainer. So with this trainer we will achieve the different protection schemes for earth fold and overcurrent relay with the help of IDMT overcurrent relay. So now let us move to the panel wise description. I will describe all the panels and their working and what are the components with these panels and later on we will do some basic experiment on this field. So this is the closer look of combined earth fold and overcurrent numerical relay kit. The order code is 46640. You can use this order code to find out more details about this trainer by visiting our website which is www.tescaglobal.com. Now moving towards first panel. This is our three phase AC power supply panel in which we have three power indicator connected with a four pole MCB introducing R, Y, B and neutral phases for the three phase power supply. Then we have dual starter section over here in which start and stop buttons are provided. These push buttons are used and this is the normal connection for short using when you are not working with any other components you can short this terminal for operating the dual starter. Then there is a NO terminal of the contactor connected with it. Then the three output supplies of R by B and the ground is also provided on this front first panel. The second panel has current and elapsed panel. In this, at this point, we can achieve the current of any of the phase connected to the load. The current display will be shown on this panel, and there is a timer over here which is which can count the elapsed time for shorting the terminal before tripping. So you can find out elapsed time in the tripping, whatever the time the relay taking with the tripping mode. The on off button is also provided. The second panel. At the third panel, we have resistive load of 0.5 ohm at 200 watts. This resistive load is connected at T1 and T4. T1 is further connected with a switch, toggle switch of a sufficient rating for providing 5 amperes current up to T3 and T2 are internally connected for expansion connections and the other terminals are connected T5, T6 for the resistive loads to connect it, connecting it at other components and other panels. On the fourth panel, we have lamp load panel. We can use 15 watt, 40 watt, 60 watt, 100 watt, 200 watt of 230 volt lamp loads. Three lamp loads can be easily connected. On off switches for each and every load, switch 1, switch 2 and switch 3 is provided. The connections for phase and neutral are also provided so that you can easily connect them in parallel or any other required connection settings. Moving towards the fourth panel, sorry the fifth panel, we have voltage and current injector panel. In this, the front terminals are provided and which is directly input to the variac over here. This variac can give output of 0 to 270 volts at T3 and T4. Input will be connected from the single phase or any of the phase and neutral we can connect to from the three phase power panel. Over here, there is a transformer also connected for V input of 230 volt and the output will be around 2 volt at 12 amperes input load for connecting the earth volt and other sections. Third panel is current transformer panel in which three CTs are provided of 5, by 5 ampere by 5 amperes of ratio. CT1, CT2 and CT3 are provided for connecting three phases in three phase connections setup. The last one we have inverse definite time minimum time IDMD overcurrent relay panel. The IDMT overcurrent relay is installed in this setup and we have RYB input terminals for all the three phases to this IDMT overcurrent relay and the output can be connected at NO, common and NC provided on two relay outputs which are the tip relays. Then this is also a coil for earth current that will be measured with this setup over here. In this video we will describe the Demonstration, demonstration of the setup of this different type of modes and we will do all the characteristics with IDMT overcurrent relay with this setup. Now heading towards our first experiment with this complete setup, we will do the study and of working of variable voltage current injector panel. For this we have to set up the power supply connections towards the voltage and current injector panel and we will see the current ratings on the display of ammeter and the timer also. For this, 
Firstly, we have to connect T1 of the dual scatter panel. The R base will be connect to the T1 of the voltage and current detector panel. Then we will connect the neutral T7 to D2 of the voltage and current injector panel. Now moving further, we will connect T3, the output of this variant, to the LF time emitter panel. The emitter's output will be going to the load section. We will connect it to the T1 terminal. And T4 of the voltage and current injector panel will be connected to the T3, which is the neutral that we are providing to the load. Now, for using the timer, we will use T30, the anode terminal of conductor of the dual starter panel will be connected to the T3, and T14 will be going to T4. And these all are connections that we need to do for this setup. Now we will connect this three phase power supply panel with this four point socket provided to the three phase incoming line. Then we will do the experiment forward. Now after connecting the panel to the three phase supply and current and left timer panel is also required 230 volt AC supply for auxiliary inputs. So we have connected this panel from the behind and IDMT over current relay panel is also need to provide supply of 230 volts. So both are connected from the behind. We will turn on the MCB first. Here you can see the RYB phase indicators are showing that all three phases are available. And we will turn on the current relapse timer panel. Both emitter and timer are on. As I already described for normal use we have to short circuit T11 and T12 terminal with this patch code. Now for further actions we will first turn on the dual starter here. The starter is start. As the starter is start you can see the timer is started. It's now counting the elapsed time after starting the panel. Using this variate we gradually increase the voltage towards the load. Here amperes of the load is are increasing slightly. Simultaneously the output on the lamp load is also observable that it is intensity is going higher as the current is increasing in the ampere ratings. So according to the variate right now we have supplied around 160 volt AC to this and we have achieved around 0.37 of amperes so maximumly we can reach up to 220 volt which is a suitable power to this lamp load and whenever you want to stop the experiment just press the stop button as we press the stop the left timer will also go to stop at the time at where the dual starter got stop this will represent the tripping of any delay here 61 seconds are the elapsed time that we have do the experiment and provided current to this load. So that's how our first experiment is done. Now heading towards our next experiment. In this we will study the working of IDMT in overcurrent mode with the definite time setting modes. On completion of this experiment we will understand the concept of IDMT relay in definite time setting mode. The basic descriptions are given in the user manual. All the basic fault zone and the tripping time settings are also provided. The block diagram is also provided in the user manual. You can study it at there. Here we will do the connections to this setup. For this, firstly, again we will provide single phase supply to this voltage and current injector panel from the dual starter panel or the 3 phase AC supply panel. So here we have connected T1 from the 3 phase AC supply to the T1 of the variate and T7 to the T2 of the voltage and current injector panel. Then from voltage and current injector panel we will connect 
current and left time parallel similarly as per the first experiment the output of the left time panel will now not going directly to the lamp load it will going from the idmp over current relay in which we will connect the t2 with the il1 t1 over here and this t1 will be going to connected with t3 and this t3 will connect to the t1 of the lamp load now moving towards the connection on the lamp load panel we will connect t2 with t6 we will connect t5 with t9 and t7 will be connected to t11 and t4 will be going to connect at t8 so here we have parallelly connected all three lamps now the output will be provided from the idmt over current tripping relay now for tripping up the setup we will connect nc of this idmt over current relay to t13 at the anode terminal sorry it will be going to the t11 and common of this relay will be connected to the t12 and t13 of this anode terminal will be going to the left side of t3 and t14 will be going to t4 of the left side now before moving further firstly we have to turn on the idmt over current relay and we will connect the lamp loads on the all three lamps as we have connected we have connected 100 volts of lamp load at each and every holder we have forward a single connections of output of the variate will be going to the lamp load t4 of the variate section will be connected to the t3 for providing the neutral to all the three lamp load panels now we will do the setting in the idmt over current relay for that we will move closer now moving further we will first turn on the idmt over current relay from the behind the on off switch is provided after turning on it we will see the three phases amperes are provided on the front screen r y b and e which is the earth now for doing the settings let me give you basic brief description of the front panel these are the selection keys over there r y b or h and every phase at where you are going to working with will be start blinking if the current is more than the set at current in the relay it starts led will starts blinking at each and every phase any of the other conditions will be given and block will be given that if there is any internal fault in the numerical over current relay this is the start button for setting and saving the setup setting button or f reset button will be same for setting any of the parameter you have to long press up at least of a 3 second to entering the setup like this these are the navigation key for up and downing the menu in the setup so now we'll do some basic settings in the numerical over current relay first we will press the f set or set button here we have entered the relay settings if we again press the password disable option will be shown and we again press we will enter the menu sections by pressing this you can uh, right now see the line frequency is 50 hertz it can be changed to 60 hertz or 50 hertz two operations are available 
then and the second point we have face settings right now we are working with the over current sections so we will do the face settings this is the ct rated current which i have set to the 5 amperes you can set it at to 1 ampere or 5 ampere as desired for this experiment we suggest you to set it at 5 ampere again press set we will move towards the phase ct ratio phase ct ratio will be 5 and the ampere at the last section we have set is 5 so complete ratio will be 5 by 5 of this ct this is the phase low set this will set the phase low current right now the input current will be 5 and if it is multiplied with the 0 0.20 we have the acute accurate pickup current will be around 1 ampere so 5 multiplied by 0 0.20 will be give us 1 ampere of the pickup current from where the relay starts picking up the load this is the phase curve setting you can set it at different phase curves right now it is at the normally inverse curve we have extreme inverse restricted inverse very inverse 1.3 seconds 1 3 seconds long time delay definite time 0 0.6 second normal inverse so these are the different selections of the curves we will set this to the definite time for the starting phase as we set the definite time we have to set the phase definite time also which can be set from 1 to 160 seconds we have right now set it to the 5 seconds these other options are not required so we'll skipping this the earth settings will be doing we will be doing our settings at the earth setting experiment which is the next one for moving to the other parameters just select the navigation ski at the trip settings you have to set the trip type latch trip sense time 0.20 seconds which is default you can set it from 0.1 to 2 as your desired value reset type should be manual every time so it will reset when we press the reset button in the manual mode trip relay configurations are provided so there are different do, do, DO and di inputs which can be configured but this has not the this type of advanced scheme so this is a basic relay panel so these are not working is in this setup we will move towards the exit button when we reach the exit press set it will ask us to save the changes so we will have to press navigation and press n to y and press set so all the parameters that have changed now has been saved and we will ready to do the experiment now moving towards to perform this experiment practically first make sure the variable is at the zero position timer is at the zero pressing the reset now we will turn on the three phase mcb here three phase are on when we press the dual starter the left timer will start and we gradually increase the current and the load will start glowing make sure all the three switches is in on position and we will observe the ampere at the ammeter the setting ampere is 1 ampere when the load goes more than 1 ampere the blinking on the R LED will be starts so we will start the dual starter here you can see timer starts and if I gradually increase the current here you can observe the current is reaching about 1 ampere if I go more than 1 ampere you will observe the tipping LED R will start it's indicating that the load is more than the set value and in a definite time we will got the tripping here you can see the trip occurs in the 27 seconds in this the starting increasing time of the load is also included if you want to see the exit time just press the reset reset the relay manually also and again press the dual starter so right now load is 1.04 ampere and the set time was 5 second and in the definite time we are getting the tripping if I increase the variable slightly more the 
current at the load will be increased but the definite time as we have said in the relay will be remains the same irrespective of the any of the load conditions here you can see the tripping time slightly higher at different load conditions you can find out the tripping times at different values which will be accurately and near about almost 5 seconds at each and every trip time i am increasing the load slightly more let us see what happens here here right now the load is 1.43 amperes and tripping time is 10 seconds that we have don't reset we have forgot to reset the timer from the 5 seconds after 5 seconds it starts and get the tripping at next 5 seconds which is 10 seconds so while working with this you can observe that different time at each and every different loads you will get the same tripping time irrespective of any of the definite curve because we have set the settings in the overcurrent relay which is definite time so that's how our first experiment has been completed with this we can conclude that in definite curve time mode idmt relay the relay trips after the set time and it is independent of the fault current ratio now moving towards our next experiment which is to study the working of idmt earth fault relay in definite time setting room in this we will see the earth fault sections of this idmt overcurrent relay the complete study of the fault zone and tripping times are given in the user manual you can study it from there the block diagrams are also given we'll do the electrical connections of this complete setup and we'll see the practical of different time of tripping for this we'll start with similarly as per the last providing power supply to the voltage and current panel now here at the second stage we will just need to change some basic connections in this section we will connect the voltage current injector panel t3 terminal with the t5 which is the input to the 230 volt transformer which is giving a center tap output of 2 volts at 12 amperes then we have T4 to the T12 taking the output of 8 volts 12 ampere transformer tapping from T6 we will provide this to the current and elapsed timer to the emitter of T1 and T13 from here will be going to the T6 of the resistive load panel now moving further the output of emitter will be going to the coil of the tripping coil of T13 the earth fold relay and the T14 the other output from this coil will be connected to the T3 of this resistive load panel now further for tripping relay NC will be connected to the T11 and common of this tripping relay will be connected to T12 further actions for elapsed time counter will be T13 the anode terminal of this conductor will be going to T3 and T14 will be going to T4 so these all are connections that we have done always verify your connections with the user manual before starting the experiment now again we have to set up the IDMT overcurrent relay in this experiment we are doing the earth fault section 
For this, we will do the setting in the Earth fold. Firstly, we will press the F reset key. Again, we will press this and password disable option. Line frequency will be 50 Hz. Moving to the face settings. In this section, we do not need to any change because we are not doing the face settings over here. Here we are doing the earth settings and observing the earth fold. So we'll enter in the earth settings. For CT rated, 5 amperes are given. You can select it to 1 ampere and 5 ampere. So we are setting it to 5 ampere. CT ratio we will set up to the 5 ampere. The low set point, the earth low current will be the current at where the relay will start picking up the load. It will set up to 0.20. You can set it from 0.05 to 0.8 amperes. Right now it is setting 0.20 which gives up the 1 ampere of the rating according to the CT ratio. The earth curve will be definite time similar as per the earlier. The earth difference time, definite time we have set is about to 2 seconds. These are the earth settings that we have to done. Relay tripping settings will be remains the same as per the earlier experiment. Reaching up to the exit menu, press F. It will ask to save the changes, press F. And turn the navigation to Y and press set button. So the settings will be saved. Now we are ready to do the experiment. So now we are ready with the setup. We will first turn on the MCB. Three phase indications are showing. Three phases are over there. Make sure the timer is at zero position. Variac is at the minimum position, the zero volts. Now we will press the start button. Timer Left timer has been started. Now gradually increase the current and reach up to 1 ampere. As we reach up to 1 ampere, you will observe that the E LED of this IDMT over current relay will start picking up and as it picks up the load, it will trip the relay in less than 2 seconds. We will reset at this settings and again we will start the setup, reset the relay as well and we will observe the tripping time. which is the 2 second as we have set in the ID, IDMP relay for the earth settings. So in this case we can increase the current at different values also and observe the tripping time. Here right now you can see the current is 3 amperes but the tripping time will remain the same. I am decreasing the current slightly. And let us see at this time 2.8 ampere the current increased the elapsed timer increased with the 2 seconds more as the timer we haven't reset. So taking at the different current ratings you can find out different values and you can find out the definite time curve by taking the different observation also. So with this experiment we can conclude when more than a 1 ampere overload current passes through the IDMK overcurrent relay depending on the phase curve to relay trips and its NC will change to NO and thus the short circuit connection of the contactor coil DOL will open and DOL supplies goes off. Our DOL supplies goes off and our loads will be in safe condition. Relay will trip if the load current goes above the set pickup current that we have set it to around 1 ampere. And in, in, in definite curve mode, IDMT relay the relay trips after the set time and it is independent of the fold current ratios. Now heading towards the next experiment. In this experiment, we will see the working of IDMT over current relay in inverse definite time, minimum time mode and plot the curve of different types of inverse. In which we will see the very inverse, normal inverse, restricted inverse, extreme inverse, 3 second, 1.3 second. 0.6 seconds and long time delay. All the different types of variations are given at different times. We will see some of the basic inverse settings for explanation. You can do all the experiments as given in the user manual by following up all the procedure. Firstly, we will do the very inverse setup. For this, 
connections all the connections will remain as same as per the last experiment make sure the variate is at the zero timer is at the zero position just we have to change this connections of the load which are right now connecting at the earth tripping coil we will using the first over current phase relay coil and do the some basic settings in the idmt over current relay for inverse time just need to change the modes of the definite time curve now just we have to change some basic settings for changing the very inverse curve for this we will press the f set key here are the relay types we just move to the phase settings at the second number menu press enter this settings remains the same phase ct ratio will be remains the same here we have different options of the phase curve definite time 0.6 normal inverse extreme inverse restricted inverse very inverse so we are doing the very inverse practical first so we will set the curve to the very inverse will press f over here the tms phase tms time multiplier settings are comes in play in this setup so you can set the tms time multiplier to the 0.10 to 1.60 at any of the value according to your curve right now we have set this to the 1 second will remains it at the 1 second all the other settings will be disabled and relay settings the trip settings will be remains same as per the first sec section trip type should be relay tripping sense time 0.20 reset type manual these are the tripping settings that we need to set on reaching the exit button just save the connections here now we are ready to do the experiment on very inverse time sections in this we will see the various curves of this idmt in inverse very inverse time curve now moving further i have turned on the three phase mcb already variable is at the zero position now we will turn on the dual starter here you can see right now no current is at the emitter will gradually increase the current from 1 amperes here it is right now 1.10 ampere as the current goes above the 1 ampere the r led of the picking current will start and will wait at which time will get the tripping slightly will increase the current so that we can achieve the tripping early because it is a very inverse curve settings the time multiplier settings will do the play and we'll observe the elapsed time at this load here we have achieved the tipping at 85.7 seconds after the picking up of current now we will increase the current gradually slightly more and observe the tipping time again we will reset the timer reset the relay as well and slightly increasing the variable and starting the dual starter right now the current is 3 amperes which is very 3 times higher and you can observe that the tripping time is 5 second if i decrease the current slightly let's see what happens now current is 2.7 amperes and let us observe what is the tripping time we are getting for this which is 7.9 seconds so at the different load conditions we'll observe the different tipping like times which is in very inverse curve 
of this IDMT over current relay at different current values you can find out different readings of the elapsed time and you can plot the graph between the load current and the inverse time or the elapsed time we can say you will find out the same curve as given for this IDMT over current relay which is a very inverse curve so with this experiment we can conclude that in the IDMT curve mode forward current ratio and the trip time are inversely proportional hence when the forward current ratio increases the tripping time decreases here you can observe that that we have also observed when the fold current is 3 amp, 3 amperes which is very larger the tripping time is very lesser which is about 5 seconds and when the fold current is about 1 ampere the tripping time is 85 seconds so it defines the inversely proportional relation between fold current and tripping time so similarly you can also do the experiments for different inverse time modes in which you can find out restricted inverse, extremely inverse, 3 second, 1.3 second, 0.3 second and long time delay. Observe the fold current and tripping time ratio and find out the curves according to the observation tables that we are getting. Make sure always turn the variant at zero position, turn off the MCB when your experiments has been done. Take out all the patch codes carefully without pulling them or providing any extra forces so that patch course will be in safe and always make sure to place the components in a safe conditions where the broken and the falling conditions are not provided so that was the complete demonstration from my side of this combined earth fold and over current relay setup we have studied the different IDMT working in the finite time curve with the phase current and earth fold current and observe the different tripping time with current fold ratio at the different very inverse inverse and different type of curve settings which are provided with this setup you can observe and do the experiment as i explained in this video so this was the setup completely if you like this video please do like subscribe and share our channel which is testa global at youtube and if you find some more queries about this channel you can contact to testa technologies private limited for all type of support you can also use a refer the user manual for more details about the trainer till then thank you for watching this video